Toyota has been experimenting with solid-state batteries for quite some time. It's not the only company that's trying to develop this type of battery, but it is one of the leaders in this field. The company plans to use these new batteries in their next-generation lineups. Lithium-ion batteries are still the most popular choice for cars because they're cheaper, but these new batteries will be able to store more energy and charge faster than lithium-ion cells. Toyota might not be alone in the race, but they have made a number of significant moves. However, there is a catch. They're still not for their EVs yet. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing is free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in our upcoming videos. Solid-state batteries are the gold standard of battery technology, and Toyota is one of several OEMs in the industry that's seeking it. It could be the next important step forward in the evolution of electric vehicles. Solid-state batteries, as opposed to the lithium-ion batteries used in the current generation of electrics, offer more range, faster charging times, and a longer battery life. However, there is still room for improvement. The Japanese automaker, a couple of years ago, stated that it was developing a working prototype backed by solid-state batteries. Now, a video interview with Autoline conducted during the 2022 Consumer Electronics Show, Toyota acknowledged that it will start selling vehicles driven by solid-state batteries as early as 2025. Despite the fact that Toyota is a latecomer to the battery electric vehicle industry, the company is making every effort to ensure that its first mass market model is safer and more durable than its competitors' vehicles when it goes on sale later this year. EVs are becoming more popular across the world, but some customers are concerned about the fire hazards and quick depreciation associated with EV batteries. In response to concerns about fires in electric vehicles powered by LG Energy Solution batteries, General Motors and Hyundai Motor Company were compelled to recall their vehicles last year. That is what Toyota has taken into consideration and is further improving upon it. The company says that they are focusing on optimizing three factors – cruising range, battery depreciation, and recharging speed. EVs normally take hours to charge, and using quick charging techniques might cause the battery cells to heat up, resulting in degradation of the battery's capacity. This, in turn, limits the cruising range with time, lowering the resale value of a vehicle. Toyota believes that its diverse battery approaches will benefit all of its battery electric vehicles as it seeks to use advanced lithium-ion and solid-state technology to increase efficiency by 30%, with the increased efficiency being used to reduce battery prices by the same percentage in the near future. Developed in collaboration with Panasonic, Toyota claims their batteries include a unique coolant that does not readily conduct electricity. Additionally, battery packs are designed in such a way that the cells and coolant remain separate in the event of a leak. Because of these and other advances, the batteries in their BEV series should retain more than 90% of their capacity after a decade. In the near future, the company predicts that additional developments will increase productivity while lowering costs by half. This might be critical in the initiation of lower-cost mass-market battery electric vehicles. But Toyota doesn't plan on building an EV with a battery. Instead, Gil Pratt, the chief scientist, said that the company would shove the solid-state battery into a hybrid vehicle. In fact, a solid-state battery and an internal combustion engine will be used in conjunction. But why is Toyota choosing hybrid vehicles over electric vehicles? Gil Pratt acknowledges that his argument is a little bit counterintuitive at first glance, but he argues that it makes great sense. Solid-state batteries would increase the price of an electric vehicle which is already high compared to its gasoline counterpart. Costs are likely to come down between now and 2025, but not enough to make an ICE-less car with solid-state batteries feasible. 
The second difficulty that solid-state batteries are now encountering is battery longevity, with frequent charging taking a toll on early prototype batteries. When driving a hybrid vehicle, the smaller battery is charged and discharged significantly more often, and Pratt believes that the larger number of cycles for the cells will make hybrids an excellent test ground for this new technology. For this reason, Toyota will start by putting this promising technology into hybrid vehicles first, where the batteries will be smaller and hence have less of an influence on the asking price as they would otherwise. Hybrid vehicles will also serve as a tougher test for these next-generation batteries, which will ultimately be put in electric vehicles after product prices have dropped enough. In the past, Toyota, as a company, had made it clear that it does want to look into this battery type with a hybrid application first. That's why you see hybrid EVs to be the first models to get solid-state batteries. It will also put tech into the hands of customers, which will collect user input and then continue to improve. Toyota, as always, is hedging its bets. While the company has made significant investments in BEVs, Toyota still expects the majority of its worldwide fleet to be hybrid EVs by 2030, with around one-third of that fleet being battery EVs and fuel cell EVs. It's unclear what the ratio will be in particular countries, but it's reasonable to assume that China and Europe will see more BEVs and that developing nations would offer a higher proportion of hybrid vehicles. This doesn't mean all manufacturing will be powered by electricity. Instead, some will use existing internal combustion engines that are still in use. For the time being, we must remember that this is a very ambitious pace for technology in the grand scheme of things. Solid-state batteries have been a source of concern for engineers for years, with no clear path to mass manufacturing them at an affordable price. Nonetheless, Toyota may be poised to change that by the middle of this decade. Despite the fact that Toyota has selected hybrid and hydrogen fuel cell cars as the pillars of its green strategy, this does not imply that the company is abandoning its commitment to electric vehicles entirely. Solid-state batteries charge more quickly, last longer, and have a higher energy density than traditional batteries. That means that a vehicle outfitted with one can go farther than it could with an equal energy lithium-ion battery pack. Regardless of the fact that these batteries will be pricey, if Toyota and Panasonic are successful in developing a way to mass-produce solid-state batteries for their hybrids and future electric cars, it will mark a significant step forward for all battery-powered electronic devices, not just electric cars. But of course, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on this. We're all aware of the benefits of solid-state technology. However, do you believe that the Toyota Panasonic partnership may be the future of solid-state battery electric vehicles? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment down below. For this EV revolution is more like missing tailpipes by 2030. However, he believes that solid-state batteries to replace the current lithium-ion battery in mass is still a decade away, and until that, the LFP battery could play a major role for the electric vehicle revolution by eliminating the use of more expensive cobalt-based NMC batteries. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.